looking at the Nokia 5110 LCD screen. Uh, it is a relatively low cost screen. I guess the same screen that was in some old Nokia phones. So you can salvage it from some old phones. Uh, but you can get them really cheap off of eBay. And today uh, we're going to be looking at it. When it comes, it comes uh, with the pin, at least mine came with the pins unsoldered. So first thing I had to do was solder the pins on. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, now that I've done a horrible soldering job, we're going to go ahead and we're going to wire it up. So, on the back of the board, we have the pins and they're labeled. Uh, on mine, they're numbered. Uh, pin 1 is VCC, so your voltage in. 2 is your ground. 3 is uh, SCE. One is, I'm sorry, four, it looks like a one, but it's a four, is uh, the reset. Uh, five is DC. Six is uh, going to be, on mine it's labeled MOSI, uh, might be labeled SI uh, or SDIN, I'm sorry, SDIN uh, on some boards. And uh, the last one is the clock. On mine it says S. Uh, CLK and the last, oh, I'm sorry, and then the, the actual last one is your LED backlight. Now, again, they might be labeled slightly different things on yours depending on where you got your board from. Uh, but let's go ahead and wire it up. And we're going to be using pins um, three through seven, digital pins. But first, the first thing you're going to hook up is to the voltage, we're going to go 5 volts to the VCC and then any of your ground pins to ground. At the far end you have your LCD which you'll be hooking to uh, your 3 volts and that's your, your back your backlight. And I believe you can hook this up uh, with a potentiometer in some way to adjust the brightness. We're just going to be going uh, full brightness out of that 3 volts there. Uh, so next we're going to be taking our um, pin 3 on mine, on this pin, that's pin 3 on the screen, which is SCE, and SCE is going to go to pin 7, digital pin 7 on your Arduino. Next, I'm going to go for my reset pin, which is going to be pin 6. Then we've got our DC here, which is going to go to pin 5. Next will be, might be labeled SDIN on your board, or it might be labeled um, MOSI. I believe that stands signal in, is what I believe that stands for. Uh, so we'll click that into four. And then our last one here is going to be your, your clock. On mine it's labeled SCLK. I'm going to put that in three. And then the very last pin, again, we've already hooked up to 3 volt. That's for your LED backlight. So let's get this loaded up with some code and see how it runs. So as you can see, neat little screen, very low cost, uh, very simple, not as fancy as some of the other screens we've looked at, but definitely cheap and easy to hook up, easy to use. Uh, we're going to be looking at, in the uh, next couple of weeks, we're going to play around with it a little bit, uh, hook it up to an ESPA266 so we can both uh, send text to it, 
uh, and also retrieve text from servers, which will be great if you want to use this as a little clock or watch of some sort. You can grab, you know, dates and times and events and display them on the screen uh, with a cheap little $3 ESP module. So I thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. I've got a bunch of videos on this channel. I also have a second channel where I go over more software-oriented stuff. You can check out videos from both my channels at filmsbychris.com. That's Chris of the K. There should be a link in the description. There's also a link in the description to my Patreon page, patreon.com forward slash metalx1000. There you can become a supporter if you like my videos and watch them regularly. Even a little as a dollar a month is very helpful. If you can't support that way, uh, think about sharing, liking, subscribing, and comment. All that stuff helps. And I hope that you have a great day. One more thing. Uh, yes, I said we're going to be going over this uh, screen uh, more in the coming weeks. We'll get more into the software there. But for now, check out the links in the description. There should be a link in the description to my GitHub page, github.com uh, forward slash mailx1000, uh, the repositories, uh, my hardware repository where almost all my projects from this channel, software goes into there if it's an Arduino or an ESP. And um, there will be a folder under the Arduino folder for displays, Nokia, and you can get some example code there, which we'll go over in, in future weeks. So don't, don't worry. If uh, you're not sure about the software, we'll go over it, but check out the link in the description for now. And again, thank you for watching, and I hope that you have a great day.